Here we go for some high-class bowling. Stop, look, listen, and learn. Six down. Tough shot, the one, seven, and ten pins. And now, friends, meet the world's greatest bowling trickster, Andy Verapapa, the boast of Brooklyn. Keep the fingers and hands dry, says Andy, so your grip on the ball doesn't skid. And here's the grip for a three-hole ball, using the thumb and the two middle fingers. On a two-hole ball, the thumb and the second finger. Bowling shoes are essential. The footwork involves stepping on one foot and sliding on the other. To facilitate this, one shoe is sold with rubber and the other, the sliding shoe, is sold with leather. The arm, shoulder and hand movement for a ball straight down the alley. The arm swings like a pendulum. The wrist is firm, and the hand follows through, finishing in this position. A straight hit. The curved or hook ball is more effective. Most good bowlers use it. The swing and position are the same, but as the ball is released, a slight twist of the wrist brings the hand up in this position. This curves the ball and makes it possible to crash in here between the number one and the number three pins. Which sweeps the pins off clean and calls for a strike on anybody's alley. This is generally what happens to the beginner. When he wears no bowling shoes. Signor Andy Verapapa is an Italian by birth and an ambidextrous bowler by training. A unique combination. Here's a left-handed hook. A perfect game is 12 10 strikes in a row, and that's shooting. Andy holds the record of 27 perfect games, and that's practically gigantic. Hello, sunshine. Are you applauding or waving? Well, how positively embarrassing. His position suggests the Rube Goldberg influence. Scram, nitwit, there's a ball coming. Hey! Maybe I shouldn't have warned him. Yowza! The number five pin. Watch this hook for a perfect spare hit. Ping off the number seven pin. Nice going, boy. Pardon you. Now watch Andy hook one with his foot. Now there's a trick, if it works. Strike! Watch this trick a row. The left hand ball hits the right hand pin. And vice versa. One up. Two up. Perfect! Here's a nifty. Watch this next ball beat the first one and pass right in front of it. Look out! And here's the first ball he rolled, curving over to the other pin. Bravo, bravo, magnifico! Well, here we go again. No matter how he throws it, the ball always goes down the left gutter. Never mind your hair. Try it again. Here, catch it. Good. Now we'll put him where you can hit him. Okay, sunshine, that's perfect. Now you mug, make a strike. Let's go. Well, slap my face. 
Here it goes. Hey, what's going on here? Marvelous. And now here's one of the greatest shots ever made on an alley. The ball hooks around this ball and comes over here. The English on the ball makes it break its course and curve around, coming way over here to knock this pin down. Oh, yeah? Well, here it comes. Now watch it reverse its curve. There, hmm, does he make it? He does. Here's another Vera Papa special, a 20-pin tunnel shot. You'll note the pins are lined up diagonally. A perfectly controlled hook ball curves into this tunnel and passes through, picking off the end pin here. Just a minute, Andy. Here. That makes it a little more interesting. Well, what's wrong? You want it a little more interesting? Okay, here. How's that, Andy? Oh, that's better, eh? Don't worry, girls. You won't feel a thing if he doesn't miss. Caught in slow motion, the 16-pound ball is actually traveling 20 feet a second. Look out! And now for the end pin. Relax, girls. Now for the prize package in Andy's basket of tricks. The ball hooks in here, and the correct impact sends it over to knock this pin down. Meantime, this pin hurtles over into the other alley and smacks this one over. Okay, maestro. Missed it. Well, he's entitled to a flock of misses on that shot. We'll try it in slow motion this time and see what happens. Look at that. Wow, what a shot. Well, his thumb stuck again. My, my, a nudist. Come on, Mug, never mind your wig. Use your head. He used his head. Hello. Good night, all.